All right, here we go. So this is not the deck that I'm going to be talking about today, but people keep asking about the cards in this deck list, and I'm too lazy to sit here and type up 60 cards. So I'm just going to click each of the cards that are different from each other. So then that way, if you want to know the deck list to my cards in my video, like literally these are the cards that are being played. Um, all you have to do is just pause the video and it'll tell you the name of the cards in the top left corner you type those cards in boom you got the deck list just as simple right now why is this deck right here what well, what's what's so special about this deck right this is a 60 card deck of hand traps and going second cards especially with these zodiacs zodiacs particularly are powerful against one particular deck that keeps coming up um it's not the best against um snake eyes there's not really anything that's like the best against snake eyes uh the best deck that i found going up against snake eyes is the deck that i'm going to be playing in this particular video not this deck but the one that i'm playing in the match that i'm about to showcase so let me explain this though zodiacs are powerful because they literally summon this body without activating and then they go into these monsters you get to this one and then this one allows you to attack directly you just it's you just basically stack all this material so you get about five materials of just zodiac attack directly and then you just go into zeus boom in six material zeus you can wipe your opponent's field and just attack and they have to try to sit there and build a board what deck struggles to play against Zeus and that deck right here is Cash Tira and it's because Cash Tira the way that Cash Tira plays they have to wait on you to activate a monster effect for it to get its effects and then in their boss monster this card right here has to wait on shit to hit the graveyard or not graveyard but banish pile it has to wait for cards to leave the field to attach to this card as material once that happens it then gets materials and then boom you get a banish effect well the beauty to, to zodiacs is they never nothing never leaves the field you summon a monster and then you start stacking it, monsters on top of that as it exceeds material and then you go into zeus nothing ever leaves the field boom and then you just wipe the entire field of everything including this monster so now it doesn't it can't get its effects because it's gone you feel me so cash Terra struggles against zodiacs for that reason now the deck that i am going to be playing today is this deck which is the duelist cup deck now like i said before had to show every single card in the deck because people keep asking even though even though there is a way to search for these cards if you go to the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card database which they give you they tell you all about this right here Yu-Gi-Oh trading card database this right here if you go on your phone it explains to you when you set this up how this works and then you're able to take a picture you're able to use this Yu-Gi-Oh card database to take a picture of your screen and it'll locate all the cards for you. Just as simple. But nobody ever reads. But it's Yu-Gi-Oh though. So it makes sense. I understand. Now, here's the deck for this one too. Hopefully y'all caught that. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Nobody ever reads. And I know that probably hit some of y'all's soul. Because only if you know how many matches I play where literally people do stuff. And I know for a fact, like, bro, they there's no way they read, bro. No way they read the field, bro. I just made an entire video about me playing against players and like reading their field and they were probably shocked that I was reading because they're just like doing dumb shit 
and just me, I'm just obliterating their board because I'm reading everything, bro. So, here we go. And as you can see, I'm I'm winning like crazy, my boy. Winning like crazy. So, right here with this hand, I start off side at mining and discard the water enchanters. Bro, what card better in your hand to discard with side net mining other than water enchanters, bro? So, I go ahead and act, uh, grab four mud skipper. I want to use this for follow up because I want to use. The right of Aries Mirror, and this card does have some summoning restrictions, which means that if I were to summon this card, which is why this is the best starter in the deck. But you don't want to start with Four Mud Skipper if you got other options plus the adventure, because Four Mud Skipper will basically it'll have to activate when you normal summon this. The thing about the uh faithful adventure stuff or the the right of Ares mirror whatever all of this shit the thing about this is that there's a restriction to this right so it says if you control no adventure token uh, then if you control adventure faithful adventure whatever right but the the thing is it says you cannot activate the effects of monsters on the field the turn you activate this card except special summon monsters so there's a restriction there and I know about that like I said, other players don't read, but I read this shit, bro. And it's surprising how many people don't read their own cards. So, we're going to summon our Wandering Griffin Rider. And then I'm just going to use this to go ahead and start off with the right right heart instead. And then I'm just going to grab another Faithful Adventure, discarding the Draco back. Or not Faithful Adventure, Water Enchantress, discarding the Draco back. And I know what you're wondering. Bro, why did you search this if you already got your Adventure Engine set up? Bro, it's just a discard card. Don't worry. And here's the beauty to having this in my hand and holding it and not activating. Because I actually could activate this effect to send this and do something. So it says... Boom, you can you can special summon this card from your hand. So I could have special summoned it onto the field. But I didn't want to do that, my boy. I want to hold on to this shit. So boom, set the scythe right here. I'm going to go into Predator Plan Verde Anaconda. Go DPE. Set the call by the grave. I then pop the scythe. Scythe like my opponent, and then he's just gonna set two back rows. And now, here we go. So, if I had to use my Wandering Griffin Rider and it went back into the deck, when I activate Wandering Griffin or Faithful Adventure to search for it again, I can just discard the Water Enchantress. Or, my thinking is, what if I, what if I end up drawing Diabell Star, bro? I could discard this card to summon Die Star. Just that simple. So I go ahead and pop and pop. And the funny thing is, I was hoping I drew this card, and it's exactly what I ended up drawing. So Heart of the Cards is there, my boy. So I just go ahead and search for a Rite of Air's Mirror for just follow up in case anything does happen. And just attack, attack, attack for game. And there it is. Easy cooks. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I am on a streak in Duelist Cup. See y'all next time. Peace.